he's trying to do this, he's trying to do that. Some he gets right, some maybe he needs a bit more consultation, something like that. And that's why I am there. You're micromanaging. You know, I will, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, we, will support, uh, we will support all our governors. Some of them are making the right decisions, some of them are not. We, we, we just managed to, you know, do something about Meru. In fact, as I talk to you now, there is a conversation with Meru leaders, which my, my deputy is going on with, to make sure that we support them politically, because the governor has, does not have so much experience in managing... So you need to manage that. So we have to help. You Mr. Know. President, I understand yeah. that we are out of time. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to hand over to our lead moderator, but we've uh, been here for, I think, over two and, and so hours. Yes. Uh, I haven't seen the office of the first daughter. <laughs> you finish that as you take us home. <laughs> where, where is that office situated? Uh, Leave my daughter Shalene alone. <laughs> no, these are kids, you know. <laughs> they, are, they are just, you know, they are just being children. Okay. You know? So you know very well, uh, James, that there is no such office. Mm -hmm. no, you know, this is a girl who is just being her, herself, a child. Mm -hmm. You know, she has this space with uh, her colleagues. You know, her colleagues are pushing her. Oh, you know, maybe we could do this. Maybe we could do this. But uh, you know she she is okay. You okay. know she's just tapping being, into the privilege. She's just being the daughter of William Ruto, and sometimes she doesn't know the divide between the <laughs> and the father. So you know. all, right, all right, Mr. President, we have less than a minute, and let's yeah. use that to look at. Uh, you promised that uh, there would be 50-50 gender uh, representation in cabinet. You have uh, 15 male CSs, seven 